We're back on Yankees hot stove with a look at rules changes that will go into effect in the 2023 Major League Baseball season, along with limiting pickoff attempts and pitchers stepping off of the mound. The implementation of a pitch clock could speed up games. The much debated shift restrictions will also go into effect, and the size of the bases will be increased as well. Michael, I just want to start with the pitch clock. They used it in the minors. It shaved about, on average, 26 minutes off a game. And there have even been some major leaguers who have been down at the minors, and they've said, I actually like this because everybody stays engaged. Uh, everybody does stay engaged. It should quicken the pace, which is the most important thing. Everybody always thinks, well, people just want to get out of there earlier. Well, that's part of it, especially for fans, because they have to get home. Right. But it's also about pace of play. And I personally have made 50 dinner reservations at 945 for the Yankee home game. So just 50, I've still got some to go. Now you got to hope that the umpires are playing ball with it, right? They got a lot of stuff on their plate, especially this pitch clock. Got to keep an eye on that and then penalize with a strike or a ball accordingly. Because this was unofficially a rule for a while, not a rule, but it was unofficial that the umpires were asked to do this and they didn't want any part of it. And the players didn't want any part of it. This had to be like kind of shoved through by Rob Manfred. Uh, back in the day, David Ortiz said, nobody's going to rush me. I've got to go through things that I want to do as I approach uh, the pitcher. But uh, this now there are penalties. It's a ball, it's a strike. And a lot of people have told me in baseball the batters are going to have the harder time rather than the pitchers. Yeah. How many times do you need to adjust your batting gloves per at bat? I guess Nomar Garcia Power would not be <laughs> able to do this. All right, so the pitch clock coming into effect. Let's talk about the bases as well. It makes a difference of about four and a half inches, and it's the idea is get more guys on base, get more guys to steal bases, speed up the game, get more interaction in the game and they want more athleticism to be shown and we'll talk about the shift in a moment and that's also going to show athleticism and I think the Yankees were really prescient during the season in the minor leagues they had everybody running because the rules were down there already and when you say well four and a half isn't that big of a deal it is a big deal when you've seen all the replays that we have on yes uh, how the yes mo and you're out by like a quarter of an inch four and a half inches is an enormous amount so you're gonna have guys stealing a lot of bases it is going to bring the stolen base and the excitement of the stolen base back into the game. So I think that's going to have a big, big impact on the game. Especially the plays at first. It's going to be interesting. Are there going to be more replays? to slow the game down or less replays because it's so obvious they're safe. And I also like Hard the fact tell. that you can't throw over to first base uh, yeah. uh, after two, so it becomes a calculated risk as well. It's a little game of juggling. Do I go throw over or do I fake throwing over? But you can't even step off. This is something that's going to have to be ingrained in the players, and they're going to have to really teach this very much so in spring training.